Hello, in this video we will see that how we can generate LUR report. LUR report is an awesome report as you can see on my screen that uh, it generates a very beautiful kind of report and you can even generate it as a single pager so that if you want to email you can email it as a single HTML file instead of uh, multiple files. It has even this behavior where you can write in the BDD style and have even categorizations like epic feature and user stories and you can divide by who has written the cases so there is suit level uh, categorization as well right you can see the past behavior as well that how many times the cases have failed and also all of this can is configurable and it's very easy and it's better than the most of the reporting that i have seen i think even better than extend report test engine report so earlier in my videos i have shown that how you can generate this report test ng like uh, how it looks if we compare it to LR, right and it's even easier to produce than this test ng report so we'll see that how you can do it with minimal things so let's begin So we just have to do these simple steps that you have to install LR in your system then create a file that where you will want that reports to be generated and add the dependency and that's it just run your cases as you were running earlier right and uh, it will be running the same way and plus the report would be generated as well right so how to do that is like uh, assuming that you are having windows system right you can just go to LR report site right and firstly we have to install LR so for that you have to install this software called as scoop right so you can write install scoop in windows and also if like you are working in office system where you don't have exe rights and also they have given alternative ways as well that you can install from an archive as well right so using some uh, zip file you can unzip that but in this video we will go via this uh, installation way right so you can install this scoop software so for that you just have to run these two commands in uh, your powershell right just type powershell and this window will open since it's already installed in my system so you will see that when i ran this command it told that scoop is already installed right and then i ran the scoop install lr so once lr is installed in your system you can run this command lr minus minus version it hyphen hyphen so you will see that that i am having 2.27 version install in my local system so this will help you in opening the report so lr should be installed in that system so we just installed scoop and after scoop we installed lr all of that is written on their official website install for windows right and you should have this java obviously installed right we are doing this in java and test ng so this is the command we gave and this is to confirm that LR is installed so the first step is done right now coming to the like what we have to do in our test file right so this is our test case that we have written right it's a very simple case right because this is just to explain you reporting so we have three test cases one is just open chrome and one open edge and one open firefox right just for the demo purpose so like in the last videos if you might have seen like if you don't know how to do this so this is the azure devops playlist that uh, i am running right so here if you just do this 12 and 13 videos right so there i have run the same program and we generated this uh, test ng report right it does not look that nice like LR report so in this video we'll see that how you can generate LR report and in the upcoming videos i'll integrate it to azure devops so now the second step that comes is that uh, in src test right you have to create a folder called as resources under that resources you can create a file called as lr.properties and in that we'll mention that where we want to see the LR report right so you can mention that in target folder we want to see under LR results folder right you can give any name to this folder but yeah they suggest that you give this LR results right so we'll give we have given the same now nothing now the third thing that we have to do is that I have shown you here that add the dependencies so we install the LR in our system windows mac linux whatever it is right 
and then we created this file where we want the report. Now we will add the dependencies. So I have already add the dependencies. As you know that we add the dependency in pom.xml file, right? So two dependencies you have to add. One is this Elior test ng and another is this Elior bomb, right? And under dependencies you have to add, right? You can go this way, like. Uh, uh, for example, we can store the properties or the version number at one level, right? So likewise, I have done for Selenium version so that whenever I have to update version, I need not to change at multiple places. I can change it here. So just to show you, I can create similarly for test ng, right? Test ng dot version and whatever name you want to give, like for example, vision. If I did a spelling mistake also, it will work because, right? So let me copy this and paste it here and you have to paste it like this and place a dollar symbol right and give the version here 7.10.2 right or whatever it was it was yeah 7.10.2 right so it will work like this as well right so if you want to give below you can give we just have to add these two dependencies and as soon as you add the dependency right you can go to uh, terminal right and you can run the mvn install command so that all the dependencies are installed and once they are installed on the right side you will see under dependencies the, this two get added right you can see it on the left side as well under external libraries that uh, these test ng is already there right you should see that this Elior dependencies are added as well, right? So once it is done, you just have to do the same thing which you were doing earlier, right? So I'll go here and I can run my test from here, right? So if you see, I have not added anything, any annotation or anything related to Elior. I just installed Elior in my system, added some dependencies which were for Elior. So I have used it with Playwright as well and Specflow as well. So comment it out like if you want to see for a particular framework that how we can integrate this reporting, I'll try to create that, right? So if you see that uh, Chrome got open, then Edge will be open and then Firefox would get open, right? So these are the simple tests for uh, demo purpose only, right? I have not even put any assertions also as of now. Okay, so these are the tests that got run right three test cases and they, all of them are passed right so under target folder if you see Elior results got generated and it is generated because in Elior properties we have given this folder right now it has this so what you have to do is to see the report you can go to that folder cd target right and now in this Elior results is there in this folder right Yeah, this LAO results is there in this uh, folder. Right, if I do DIR, I see this LAO results. So you have to give the command LAO serve. So it is like it will serve you the report. It will open a browser and it will show you the report. Right, and I'll show you that how we can generate a single page report as well. Right, if you see that same tests are shown right so we see that three tests are there and it shows the tear down as well right and under behavior we can see it like and i'll make it even better and we'll see that packages also it is coming right so as of now if you see this report is generated in this lr results folder right so these are the like uh, json file using which it generates this report Okay, so if we want to generate a single page report, right, I can press control C and stop it. So you can just type a lure command to see that what all options are available, right? So yeah, you can specify that if you are uh, like if you have installed in a different way. So here you can see that various options that are available. So we used a serve, right? 
and there is a something called as LAR single file. So it is under LAR generate. So if you don't want to open the file and you just want to generate it, you can give the command LAR generate. Then what will happen is here in target, apart from LAR results, there would be another folder generated called as LAR report. Right, but if you see this is a multi-pager kind of like so many files got generated, right? So I cannot email this report. So what I can do is let me show you again. Let me delete this LR report folder. Now the command that I'll give is minus minus single file. So now you will notice that under LR reports only one file will get generated. That is index.html, right? If I click on this and I open in my Chrome browser. So you will see that now this is just in one file everything is there. You can email this report, right? If something is failing and all, so it will give the trends and all here, right? So you see that how simple it was. Now to make it even better, right? Let's say we want to put any annotation, we want to attach screenshots and all that stuff. All of that is explained very well on their site right so here this is a layout test ng right i in the next video i'll try to cover spec flow and others and unit as well right so what we did is uh, we have added the dependencies right whatever they have told a layout test ng a layout bomb right and there is one more right if you want to add step and attachment you can add this as well spec j right for now i have not added we did this part as well we uh, created a file right now we ran like you can run with this command mvn test or mvn verify right we learn this command lr serve and lr report right now they are talking about another thing that we can add description links organize test right so we can use the annotation which is provided by lr instead of like the test ng ones would remain there right but we can use the ones which are provided by lr right so i have just uh, copy pasted few of them right so let me just uh, paste this in our test so this is our test right so i can provide a description if i want for my test i can define the severity whether this is a critical test or a minor one or a severe one right so there are five crit levels of criticality that they have shared right of severity sorry you can mention the owner that who is the owner right let's say i have written the test cases so i can put it here and this is very useful epic feature because in your sprints and uh, devops or jira whatever you use you have epic feature and story right so you can mention even these tags as well and others you can see is at the rate i have not shown all of them but the important ones right so there are whatever is coming from earlier right if there is an issue flaky features epic links right owner severity so there are so many you can decide that which ones you want to use right so i have just added on top of my cases right and other thing that they give is that you can do it inside the test case as well Right. So let's say you don't want to disturb, like don't want to go via annotation way, though this is a better way, right? Because you just have to write outside of your case. But like uh, if you have put it in some Excel file and all and you read that what is the feature from there, you can add some of this stuff inside as well, right? So this is called uh, runtime, right? So here I can do LR dot, right? So it has all these options right you can add epic from here as well right so i can add an epic called as authentication and i'll name it as inside epic to so to see it better in a report right right so very simple you can add it over here or inside my preferred way is outside right and if you want to add any screenshot and all right for that also they have given lr dot attachment right and you can give that whatever file content or whatever data you want to do or you can even attach a screenshot as well right on failure generally we want screenshot so you can put this code in the after test file right that if the case is failed you can put this a common code so that it takes the screenshot right so i can maybe use this i test result of uh, 
test ng right and i can on failure i can do but i am not going into that complex ts of now right so i have put it here and we'll see that whether it has attached this data.txt and an image.png which i have as of now kept at my uh, project level right this failed.png we'll see that whether it gets attached or not ideally you should uh, attach the screenshot right of failure here right you can run the screenshot command that we have in selenium or whatever framework you are using right so let's run it once again run the test again here right and for the first test we should be able to see that all this stuff which i have added should come in our report right so the tests are running test will run normally right so it is very easy to like you can even put all these things at the class level right so that uh, epic and all if it is same for something you can use it at that level as well right so let me try to put it at uh, class level and see whether it allows us or not right so you can put this stuff even at the class level as well right now we'll go to terminal and we are already in target folder so i can give the command lr serve in case you face any issues just uh, comment it out i generally reply to all the comments that i see right now you see that some different things are coming right so if you see i have given an inside epic as well so that's why it's coming like this automation inside epic right authentication right but here it is coming normally right and all these links the data.txt that we gave it got it is coming as a test body and this image is also coming uh, which we attached right so i uh, hope you liked it and you were able to so to summarize we install the lr in your in your system for that we installed scoop we ran two commands of uh, installing the lr right then we checked the lr version which confirmed that lr is installed then under resources we then under resources we created a lr dot properties file right which is like this and then we ran our cases and our report was generated right now like if you have so many cases you may not want to add all of this but if you are starting you can start adding this annotations right so that the report looks even better right like this and lr site has all the documentation which i have shared here right so they talk about all this that run time is there and annotation ways so we adopted both some places annotation some places this right and you can organize test by this epic feature story right or uh, you can put it inside as well right even you can divide a test into uh, steps ways as well right i don't think that all of this is required but it depends on the context right if you want this you can do that like parameterization is also available if you want to see it at the report level right so give it a try and let me know in case it fails i'll add it to this series and in the next video we'll see that how you can show this beautiful report at your build level right so no need to run this l or c and all that command at the pipeline level locally you can run right so i hope you like it and do subscribe and like the channel if you like this thank you